This is the future. San Dimas, California, 2692. A most excellent society based on the philosophy of the two great ones, Bill and Ted, and the music of their band, the Wild Stallions. My job is to provide the two great ones with the Circuits of Time phone booth, allowing them to travel through time, keeping them on their correct path. A path they must follow to ensure the future of our most excellent society. Society based on the philosophy and lessons learned during Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventures. Dude, I can't believe we spent our entire nail world paycheck playing Clogzilla for nine straight hours. Ted, if the Wild Stallions are ever going to produce a triumphant video, we cannot spend our wages on non-non-frivolous things like, like video games. Frosted slushies. Yeah. Dude, we must make a most unprecedented sacrifice. We must open a savings account. Good thing we had yesterday off so we can go back today and get our paychecks. <laughs> The place is totally abuzz with our nail world colleagues. Everyone's working but us. Yeah. Wonder where we are. Yeah. Mr. Melville, what a pleasant surprise. How about those Dodgers, huh? <laughs> Jack, I wasn't expecting you. How's the wife? Oh, good. Good, yeah. Oh, say, hey, that hair transplant's really taking hold. Oh, yeah. No, no. Mr. Melville, thank Dude, you so much. Our boss is totally here. talking to no one. Your growing nail world family. <laughs> What the heck are you two doing here? I gave you the day off. Uh, excuse me, sir, but, uh, we came for our paychecks. Uh -huh. Well, take them and, uh, get up. You! I thought I told you to wax those nail bins. Uh, Ted, huh? Mr. Just Keelson's totally I... overamped. Five inches? The Nail World badge should be worn no more than four and three-quarter inches below the shoulder. If you had bothered to read your Nail World employee manual, you would have known this. Or don't you like beating your family? And get a haircut! What? Uh, Mr. Keelson, my associate and I are most concerned with this non-motivated mood swing. Non-motivated? Do you have any idea what today is? Most definitely. It's Tuesday. No, dude, remember? It's Monday. It's Melville Day, you Philistines! One day a year, old man Melville pays me a surprise visit and makes my life a live and a half. Who is this old man Melville, dude? Who is Mr. Melville? Well, he only started Nail World, that's all. It's a Melville world in which we live, buckos. And ours is but the eke out of modest living therein. Oh, puddles, I'm late for my haircut. Look, please, don't get in the way. And don't be here when I get back. Bill, I'm getting the most unwanted feeling in the pit of my stomach. Ted, me too. Whoa, no way! I need a John Hancock on line six. Who's John Hancock? I don't know. Delivery, dude, uh, this is a most unprecedented amount of Nail World water sealing. You trying to say I made a mistake? Well, this order says one case delivery, dude. One unit. A unit's a hundred cases, now sign. Ted. What are we supposed to do with all this water sealant? I don't know. This could totally squash Mr. Keelson's chances for adoption into the growing nail world family. Whoa. Ted, this is most inspired. Dude, we have totally impressed our nail world colleagues. Mr. Nail says, Protect your castle from bogus water hassle. Dude, we are two cutting-edge marketing bohemians. <laughs> now let's go back to tomorrow with our paychecks. And no Clogzilla. Yeah. Oh, my God! What did you do to my store? What is this monstrosity? Mr. Q. 
Kielsen, your nail roll vest is littered with many non-triumphant hairs. Who cares about hair? I won't have a head when Melville sees this. Oh, this does not conform to nail roll specs. Oh, when he sees this, I'll be forever banned from the growing nail world family. He's here. Okay. All right. Um, okay. Come on. Look busy. Look busy. Get over here quick. And, and don't speak. Please do not speak. If he speaks to you, just uh, grunt. Grunt. I'll, uh, I'll tell him you don't speak English. That's, uh, it's not really a lie. Hey, Mr. Melville, what a pleasant surprise. Oh, losing the weight, huh? With brown nose and Kielsen. What the hell is the meaning of this? Oh, this. That's nothing. It's... It's genius, Kielsen. Inspired. Why, with the rainy season coming up, we're gonna sell a million cans. Was this your idea? Why, well, um, uh... <laughs> By damn, Kielsen! There's a place at corporate HQ for thinking like this. What do you say? You think you get used to three martini lunches? Oh, yeah? Babes in pantyhose to see to every need <laughs> and a permanent tea time at the glove? Oh, not the squash and golf club, sir. I, I never dream. Well, start dreaming, Kielsen. Dream big. I do, and I'm richer than hell. <laughs> or maybe you don't like the sound of regional manager. Regional manager? Me, sir? Oh. <laughs> you call the wifey, tell her to sell the house. I want to see you in Sacramento first thing Monday morning. Yes, sir. Right away, Mr. Melville. Mr. Regional Manager, Regional Manager. I want to tie up the gummy phone. Dude, is it just me? Or are you feeling totally used and unappreciated? Totally disappointed. The regional man. I must be wrong. Jerking. You <laughs> snivering pantaloon rat! This was my one chance to put a son in the king's castle, and you forget the lucky jerkin. If he beats Paul the giant, he gets a crack at pulling the sword of Scalibur from the stone, becoming the king, and winning the fair Guinevere's hand. Found him under a tree. I seem to be lost. Can you tell me where I am? The jerkin, you worm! Camelot, here, hold this. Camelot? The musical? Oh, hi. I seem to be lost. Tell how this guy go big for It's <laughs> him! Whoa. It's the king! Oh, no, no, no. Oh, I mean, no, 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 no. The king! I'm in the king is gone! Yeah, no. Come! I, I the think king. I, 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 Dude, I'm thirsty. Ah, more frosted slushes. Chad, the phone booth is gone. No way. What's 
the problem, dude? Mr. Kielsen said he came up with a totally genius idea for selling water sealant. Only it was our idea. And now the company wants to promote him to regional manager. <sighs> Pretty bogus, dudes. Yeah. Not to mention potentially disastrous for you two. No, no way. way. Yes way. If he goes on to better things, then you two will lose your jobs, and the balance of your most excellent natures will be disturbed. It could have a most heinous effect on the future. Ted, we better bring him back. But where'd he go? He was calling his home number. Let's see where that takes us. Right, Bill. Uh, Rufus, thanks for the boot. No problem, dudes. Now that God has decreed the King of Camelot, we can band together to end all wars. Aye. Close ranks. Aye. No! No is the time to build! Yes. To take what is ours! Excuse no me. more war! Oh, no. No, 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 please. No. No. Come on, guys. Park it, really. You know, I, uh, I love a good debate, so, uh, what are we talking about? My lord, the sword Excalibur is a fulcrum for peace, not an instrument of war. It's good. I, I like it. With the sword, we have the power to win back the lands taken from us in the last war by the dreaded dog, Barasario. Kind of a knife and knife thing, huh? War begets war. Blood is shed. Men and munitions lost. Pansy! Warmonger! Boy, boys, don't fight at the round table. Boys want to say that. I want blood! Okay, hey, who am I standing in your way? You look like a big fella. You have my permission. Oh, boy, what a hothead. That's... Not good. Oh, boy, this anxiety dream just keeps getting better and better. <laughs> my lord, I've waited for you all my life, never once knowing the touch of a man or the warmth of his breath on my bosom. I want to have your son. Oh, you know it. It looks like rain. I sleep like a baby in the rain. Well, you won't be sleeping tonight. Let's start there. Excuse me, fifth century forlorn dude. Who lives in that castle? The king of Camelot. Dude, what's wrong? For a hundred years, the sword Excalibur was held within this stone, waiting for the chosen king to pull it out. Today, I pulled it out, and this newt in a strange blue jerkin took the credit. Bill, Mr. Keelson did it again. And I'm gonna cut his heart out. Are you sure you have enough water sealant? Uh-huh. You look like you could use a few more cans. Uh-huh. Hey, is uh, she about ready yet? The king needs a son. A son takes time. Yeah. yeah. I just don't want to wake up before I have a chance to... Oh, boy, this must be the anxiety part of the dream. <laughs> King Arthur, dude, you're totally misreading Mr. Keelson's actions. He did not mean to take away your crown. I'm sure if you ask nicely, he'll give you back your kingdom. He took credit for my deed. The scandalous dog must die. But, dude, the scandalous dog is not worthy of your most heinous feelings. He totally did not know the bogusness of his actions. You do speak of your friend from the heart. I can respect that. Totally. Still, I must strip him of his mortal coil. Ted, we better get to Mr. Keelson before King Arthur does. But dude, how are we gonna get in this most fortified above? Dude, I got a plan. Oh! What's your business? You say, for the king's horses. There's reports of enemies of the king in the near woods. Daughters are nice, too. Ah! She's ready! Yes! Okay, let's go. All right. Thank you very much. 
much hay. It's been a lot of fun playing with you. Okay. Newt season. Time to go hunting. Yeah, I love the outfit. Let's go. Bye-bye. Yeah, we'll see you guys over the holiday. Okay. <laughs> see you later. Bye-bye. Oh, jeez. I can't even have a halfway decent dream without you two coming into it. Mr. Keelson, this is not a dream. Of course it is. You think I get women like that in real life? I beseech your royal love, my king. Bill, this medieval babe is totally too much car for him. I know, dude. He could get hurt. <laughs> Mr. Keelson, think about what you're doing. Uh, think about your wife. Get out of here before you ruin my dream. Think about your future, dude. What future? I manage a hardware store. Dude, are you totally forgetting about your big promotion? Mm, yes. Now, well, promotion. Regional manager, I... Well, I hope you're satisfied, boys. Although I do suppose I owe you an apology. <laughs> Most definitely, uh, we forgive you, Mr. Keelson. Good. But there are others who are not so quick to let go of their innermost hostile needs for revenge. What others? Mr. Keelson, you have again erroneously taken credit for another dude's deed. The real king has been jailed most wrongly and wants to cut your heart out. Mm -hmm. Boys, you've made your point, okay? I am sorry. I will never do it again. So let's say good night and let me get back to my dream. But Mr. Mr. Kielsen... Oh, guards! Look, arrest these two and I don't want to be disturbed anymore, okay? You tall weasel! What? Do this? Yeah. Hey, I'll tip you guys later. Thank you. My lord, the door has been injured. You must come quickly. My lord, Valasario has killed a knight of your round table. We must revenge this brutish act. Oh, he's a mess. You must kill him yourself, my lord. Oh, no, no, no. See, I, I'm a lover, not a fighter. As God is my witness, I'll break these chains, quarter the dog, and feed him to his own lions. If I might say, royal dude, you must learn to let go of these most non, non heinous feelings. Yeah, dude, you're totally gonna make yourself bummed. Perhaps you're right. Revenge is the devil's seed, and he is my king. Thank you. Now go kill yourself for betraying king. The moment I saw you, my heart fluttered like wild birds. I must have you. Whoa! No. No. What are these feelings that are tearing me apart inside? Not as much as the king's being torn apart. He's off to fight the dreaded dog, Valisario, to the death. He won't be king much longer. No, no way! You have to stop that fight! Mr. Keelson's a total non-violent. He'll be completely demolished. My two new friends are right. I must stop that fight before their friend dies. Dolisario's <laughs> making deals with Hans. Send me instead. <laughs> Fear not, my lord. God has decreed you the chosen one by giving you the strength to free Excalibur from the stone. You know what I've been thinking? I mean, is it really my sword? I mean, uh, who else would like a shot at being king? Bella? Oh, no, 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 no. You go, go, go. You would kill me in a second. You are the chosen one. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm hungry. Okay. Let's do it now. Hey, 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 hey. Watch the best big guy. Wake up, Gilbert. King Arthur, dude, ready to regain your crown? Totally, dude. Oh, oh no. I'm gonna split you oh, like oh, a oh, pig. Oh, wake up, just get up, up, up. Oh, oh. No way!
Lord. I yield. I think you'll remember that I called him a tool weasel. Oh, I hope he doesn't remember anything. And don't forget to go back a few minutes early. Where am I? Their world. Oh, good. Hilsan, what's the meaning of this? Uh, this, sir? Uh, oh, this. Uh, that's nothing, sir. I... It's genius, Kilson. Inspired. Was this your idea? I... Uh, well, I... Excuse me. Where will I find a needle for my basketball? Needle for my basketball? Aisle six. Thank you. Uh, well, was it your idea or not? <laughs> Well, sir, as, uh, as much as I'd like to take credit for it, uh, the truth of it is it belongs to my two excellent part-timers, Bill and Dad. How's it going? You know, Kielsen, this proves one thing I've always known about you. What's that, sir? <laughs> You're an idiot. Mr. Kielsen, my associate and I would like to thank you from the bottom of our hearts for your most excellent honesty. Yeah, dude, I mean, it takes a big man to do what you did. I mean, that that's righteous. That's righteous. Yeah. Don't touch me. Party on, dudes. Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventures can be seen every Sunday night at 7, 6 Central. And starting July 16th, Watch for all new summer episodes of Parker Lewis every Thursday right after The Simpsons. Now stay tuned for True Colors in its new time period next.